What's up? What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Nikki Gilbert Daniels. I am not um, going to be on camera today. Uh, not live anyway. Uh, <laughs> I know, you guys, it's been a long day. It's been a stressful day, but I see y'all. Shout out to all my folks on Facebook, on YouTube, on SheSpeaksLive.com. Uh, on noego.tv, which is our YouTube channel. Um, I love and appreciate all of you for the love and the, um, you know, tuning in, taking the time out to watch what we're trying to do. So um, tonight I'm doing a special re-air of a very, very, very important conversation, you guys. So I hope you'll stick around and check this conversation out. This is um, a conversation that I had with my sister, Angie Stone. I don't know... Um, some of you may have seen it, but um, you probably haven't seen the entire conversation unedited. And I wanted to um, make sure that I gave you guys the unedited version of this conversation because there's a lot going on in the world right now. It's a lot of division. It's a lot of hate. It's a lot of um, negative energy. It's a whole lot of, uh, you know, uh, pitting us against each other, you know, and I think that it's very important for us to come together in these times and, and really show love. So what's up, rock chick? <laughs> How you doing? I see you on YouTube. What it do? Um, shout out to all my people, you know, who are or have been watching and supporting the She Speaks Live movement. So I'm going to get on into this conversation. I think it's a very, very important conversation. I want to say shout out to Leslie. I see you, author. Uh I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have my readers on. Let me put my glasses on, you guys, so I can so I can shout you out. Author Sathea Calendar. I think I said that right. I see you too. So I just want to go on ahead and and get right into this conversation again. But before we get into the conversation, I got a special treat. So this is I don't know if you guys know, but Kiki Wyatt's brother Kiever Wyatt is one of the I, thank you, Rock Chick. I appreciate you. <laughs> Kiki Wyatt's um, brother is one of the most talented singers that I know. So for those of you who may not be aware, I've been doing She Speaks Live from home because She Speaks Live from home is, is you know, safer in, the, in these COVID times. What's up, Whitney? I see you. Um, in these COVID times, uh, She Speaks Live from Home is safer, and uh, we're going to get back to our regular in-studio shows, but we have been recording these studio shows at AIB TV, which is a local network in Atlanta. If you guys have the opportunity um, to, to you know look them up, I think it's, it would be important for you to do that. They're doing the work of allowing creatives to create content that entertains, uplifts, and inspires you guys, so... Um, it is through AIB that I produced this, this show, She Speaks Live in the studio. And I just, I'm so empowered and so inspired by this network. What's up, Chris Bowden? I see you. What's up, Shantoria? So I'm going to be communicating with you all through, um, through this episode. It is a re-air, but before we go into this episode, I'm going to give my brother Kiever Wyatt. He came on when Kiki Wyatt was on the show. I'll probably re-air Kiki and uh, Christy Sins, who I had on the show, on the in-studio shows as well. But this is Kiever Wyatt, and he's amazing. He's an amazing soul, and he is um, a singing ass. This boy can sing. When I say this boy can sing, this boy can sing. So this week, She Speaks Live is more like radio, where you can hear me, but you can't see me, because uh, there's a lot going on with this hair, <laughs> and I've just been so stressed out. Shout out. Let me first take a moment of silence um, for my girl, Jazz Waters. Um, ooh, in Jesus' name. God bless you, Jazz. She was known as Jazz Fly. She was an incredible writer. Um, her work is still visible. So when you guys have time, check out at Jazz Fly on Twitter. She was brave. She was so brave. She was fearless. She spoke up against injustice and racism. And, you know, she was also a writer on This Is Us and Kidding and, you know, beautiful, plus size, gorgeous sister. Um, so God bless you, Jazz Waters. You are a warrior. You are we, you are to be celebrated and not mourned because she she gave everything she had. And 
You know, I think that's important for all of us to remember that we don't determine how long we're here, but we can determine what we do while we're here. So on that note, let me give you all um, this wonderful performance from Kiever. Again, it's pre-recorded, but it's still dope. And then we're going to get into this conversation with Angie Stone and uh, we can talk about it while we're listening. If you have questions or comments um, while you're watching this, this, then of course I'm here and available. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Kiefer West on She Speaks. This is a little moment that I like to call the She Speaks Live Spotlight. And tonight in our She Speaks Live Spotlight, we have a brother who sings his face off, who happens to be Kiki Wyatt's brother. So you thought Kiki was only singing in the family? Not so much. I'm Kiki Wyatt's brother. And I'm also Kiki's Wyatt brother now, thanks to Barack Obama. He did that. Yes, we can. We've been thinking about adopting, but I think that we have a different plan in mind. What if we could keep it in the blood? and have you be a surrogate for us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge She Speaks Live welcome to Mr. Kiever West. What's up, how y'all feeling tonight? Now y'all gonna gonna stick with me, right? All right, I need y'all to be live with me. This song here is called Make Love, and um, it is on my EP entitled With Love by Kiever West. I hope you enjoy it. It's for the grown and sexy. Goes like this. Uh. Kissing, touching, loving, just me and you. Uh. Licking, sucking. Y'all what you know about it? Loving, it's all I want to do. Uh. Won't you come to me, baby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
sings down, honey. You sang down. I love I it, Kiefer. It. So how does it feel? It feels wonderful. And then, I mean, if I can just be uh, transparent here, uh, this Aww. is a dream come true. Aww. I can't believe y'all Y'all don't know this. This is like one of my favorite artists on this planet. Brownstone, the group is like, yeah. I grew up on that. Yeah. So my sister and I, you know, like we would harmonize to y'all songs, man. So it's wonderful. It feels great. Well, we like to use this opportunity to showcase really talented people. Maxie loved you to pieces and I love you. Thank you, Kiba. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you you so can much. find Kieber's music on all platforms at Kieber West. Thank you for blessing us Thank with a moment, so and we're going to talk you. to your sister in a minute. Awesome. But before we get to get Kiki Wyatt, I'm moving on over to the Hot Topics table with my Hot Topics co host, Shanita Foster, Christine Beatty, Stacey J. Johnson, DJ Fally Fowl. Take us out, boo. What does it mean? All right, beautiful people. So. Up next is my girl, Angela Laverne Brown William Stone. So I want you guys to really take in this conversation. Like I said, it is not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy when you are speaking truth to power, right? People don't like for us to get along. People don't like for us to be unified. But I really want you guys to pay close attention to this um, conversation that Angie and I have because there was a lot of healing that took place. And um, we talked about a lot of different things that I think um, are important for us to address today in this day and age, okay? So here it is, She Speaks Live, my very intimate and real conversation with my sister, Angela Laverne Brown Williams Stone. This is a good one, y'all, so make sure you watch it. y'all welcome back to she speaks live i'm your host nikki gilbert daniels and i am so so honored to have my sister my sister in song yeah y'all might have synced a few things on that r&b divas moment <laughs> but when i tell you i am so grateful that my friend who i call affectionately angela laverne brown <laughs> william stone <laughs> angie b okay is in the building y'all let's give it up Angie Stone. I am so honored. Queen <laughs> of soul. Look, our queen of soul Thank has you. moved on to heaven, That's but we right. definitely are left with you. Angie, Thank you. first of all, um, I think a lot of people saw us on that show, yes. R&B Divas, mm -hmm. and they were left with the impression that we had issues. And yeah. we're here to let y'all know. Not true. That is not the case. Let me just say before we, since you touched on that yes. right away, uh, as we're getting started, you know, I'm the kind of person that I believe that when you're in a situation where the perception is misperceived, someone has to get the record straight. I'm kind of chick that'll make the first move. Let me be the first to let the world know and everybody that's in um, uh, we Speaks Live, Sister Speak Live, <laughs> all of this. She Speaks Live audience. She Speaks Live, Sisters Speak Live, She Speaks Live, I Speak Live. Yes, I'm indeed. just letting you know that I apologized affectionately to you before a crowded room of people. Now I'm doing it before a crowded world of people. Why? Because when we are positioned to be manipulated and as a pawn and put in a position that actually hurts someone, we have to be intelligent enough mm. to right that which is wrong. And I was used, unfortunately, in the wrong way, but I never meant to hurt you or anybody for that matter of fact, but especially you, you being the creator of the show, you being the person that gave us opportunity, you saying, hey, this is what it is, let us work together. And as a result, they squandered all of that beautiful sisterhood, and I'm all for sisterhood, so which is why I'm here today to support you on your new show, and I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you. Okay. I love you, Angie. I love you I more. love you, Angie. I love you and more. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And this, I'm sorry, I brought my tissue because I already knew what this was going to be. Oh, um, don't make me no, cry now. No, no, I'm, I'm pull it together. But a right. couple of things I want to say with that. Yes. Um, you never, ever have to apologize to me ever again. And I want to take the time to apologize to you oh. for things that I said out of anger 
and it being happens. broken. Sisters, sisters are. We yeah. have that, but right, right. You know, and I apologize because you are royalty. You Thank are you. musical royalty. You have been around longer than most of us. We there's so now much that we can learn from do you. That. I'm saying I got my tissues right here. We gonna put them up here where they can be seen. You have been around longer than most of us, Angie. You have paid dues that we have not paid. We owe you the respect. We owe you the honor. We owe you so much for being you, a representation. First of all, you don't owe me anything. Oh. The one thing that I expect of all of us that learn from each other is that we take each other's legacy and we move forward for the next generation of young women to come behind us. And one of the things that I want people to understand, recognize, and know is when you started out developing shows, um, plays, and television concepts, you were an inspiration for most young black women who weren't supposed to make it. And as a result, you allowed everyone to climb on your shoulders to get to the next step. And I just want to thank you for that. Secondly, if I didn't learn something from you, then it's a waste of time. It just means so much. And, 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 I, and I don't want to get too mushy and I'm going to get off of this fast, but right. there's this saying that your apology needs to be as loud as, as your, your disrespect. disrespect. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes. And Cause I, you know, I never let any grass grow on my feet. And I on. knew that the time that I, I needed to see you, I needed to look you in your face as a woman and say, hey, after I learned what was done to hurt us all, let me be the first to put my big girl panties on and say, it's okay. You know what I mean? This too shall pass. It doesn't mean that we walk in a perfect light. Yes. It just means that we all get tinged with some mess Absolutely. every now and again. But we have to yeah. know and understand that. Guess what? For me to apologize to you in a room full of people, I don't want nobody else judging me. So let me say this so y'all don't talk about me behind my back. I am woman enough to accept when I've done something wrong and just listening, that's why I don't believe in all that reality stuff as much as a lot of people want me to because some of it is fake. Most of it. Most of it. 99.99% of it is some bullshit. <laughs> but I said bullshit. Yeah, um, bullshit. And you, and you, my mother, before she passed away, because the, the impact that. of that show, it, you know. Of course. You know, we all go to heaven if we're good, right? That's right. And my mom was a good woman, so my and my daddy was a good man, so I know that is where they are. But, um, it, you know, people don't realize the impact of those things on our family members. Yes. And I will just never forget my mother. I love that Angie Stone. I oh. mean, she apologized to me. She apologized to you. And she just, and that just meant so much. And I'm, and I'm, I'm glad so I was grateful able to, to you do for that, that while she was yeah, here. Yeah, while she was here, she had a chance to have that experience. Yes. And that was just so big. And you were recently honored, and I had the opportunity to introduce you. And yes. I was so proud of that yes. moment and being able to have that moment. Thank and you. And your sisterhood, really Angie your sisterhood means so much to me thank you because we're imperfect all That's of right. us are imperfect I've made mistakes you've made mistakes but the but but the thing that is so important is having the ability to go back and be like sis I'm sorry I did that yes and because and we to can be apologize here to, to each other and to each be other, here to support each other each other because you know what be most present. people that are envious of other people they Come never want to see them get ahead so therefore there's this wall that's always blocked or something that gets in the way but God's timing is perfect you're right where you're supposed to be you, and I'm just so grateful that you called me <laughs> of course. to say come get on my show I'm and like, I was able could to do you it. Please come do this and you like you know what I got a lot going on but I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make some room for you because that. I wanted you to know that there is no stone unturned and at the end of the day all of that is water under the bridge so we yes, have to keep is. moving forward. Yes. So we have an our tissue moment so there yes. may be some people out there watching this who don't know um, what we're talking about. Right. So to just elaborate and expound on what we're talking about we there was a lot of manipulation that was going on behind the scenes um, of R&B divas. Yes. And at the end of the day, this thing was started as an opportunity for us to go from, like you say, you say it best, Angie. We were at one point a list, then we kind of went down to you know in music we to be we right. To <laughs> we was trying to get back on the right. a list. And it was a really positive, good movement. Yes. And there were people in your ear. Yeah. Always people in. Our ears, our and ear. right, right, that our were, ears that were that were trying to distract us from the ultimate goal, which was to become uh, 
uh, relevant exactly. again. Uh, we, it wasn't like we were irrelevant, but the fact that we, the, the industry was changing mm -hmm. and we were not ready to be yesterday's news. So the whole purpose of the show was not to be uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, but they kind of turned into a beat up squad. And before we could get going as sisters and uh, song and of uh, spirit, we became like catfight divas. Yeah. And that was something that I didn't sign up for. And yeah. I know that when you created the show, along with Faith Evans, uh, all of us were in the same space, wanting to ride off each other's shoulders to get back. Empower each yes. other and be real sisters. And, uh, well, and they had told you guys right. I was too old to be on the show at one time. Yeah. And she's too this and she's too that. And I'm like, okay, I might be all of that, but I still got a top five record. Like, you better like know what does it. that have to go with? You better what does know that have it. to do with anything? I mean, there are people in this industry that wish they had 40 years in the Honey. business. And my thing is, why are you hating on the fact that my longevity has been because I'm consistent and because I really love what I do. And it was really sad to see that this was, you know, one of the biggest shows on television at the time. On like their, everybody especially was on their watching. network. Yes. Right, oh, right. Hey, we, Honey, we would, we, I folks. think we'd have given them a run for their money, but I just think, uh, the people that the powers that be were so messy that out someone's in the production uh, team was dating my then fiance. Girl, <laughs> listen, sip on that tea. <laughs> when and, I found out, yes, that said producer, yes, was messing around. I could not believe that. Yeah, everybody wanted to think that I was making it up, and I, I had to remain humble in spite of because I, we had children at home. They were always watching. We had yes. just done wife swap. We were just in a great space. We had issues like everyone else. But then I found out he was dating one of the producers of the show. I did not want to sue the network for one individual's doing. And so when they started writing crazy stuff about, oh, this is this, and she's lying, she doesn't have any proof, I'm like, please don't make me bring out proof. <laughs> don't make me bring don't out my receipts, honey. Proof. Don't make me so bring out my receipts. I had to really pray about it and yeah. ask God, you know, fight this battle for me. Because at this point, if I come out swinging, heads gonna roll. And yeah. uh, as a result, you know, those people have now been dealt with by God. That's all yes, I can indeed. say. Yes, indeed. I mean, mm. listen, what yes. you put out, you get back to yes. your And I, you know, I, I, I did take the network and some <laughs> yeah. other folks to task. Okay. And I can't talk a whole lot about it because, of course, before the Time's Up movement came along, you know, there was this whole sign this thing saying that we ain't did nothing and everything is peachy and but all But look as well. at God. Look at oh, where you are right now. Exactly. But look at where we are. Exactly. Okay. And I always say that. R&B Divas was the biggest learning experience of my life because it taught me that us. you don't, if you don't own your narrative literally, like this show takes a lot of work. It does. As a host, as a person who bring, set, putting sets together and all the thank you stupendous party creations for these chairs, <laughs> but you know, it takes a lot of work, but I'm willing to do that and invest that sweat, sweat exactly, equity. Exactly. And invest those resources because I know that we can control the narrative and I exactly. know that we can nip that playing games in the bud. Right. I still can't get over the fact that there was a person on the production team. Yeah. Like, was she, how was she doing? Was she manipulating, like, schedules and whatnot so she could go into your schedules, booking, man? booking secret hotel rooms. What? I, I know because they were all on my text messages when they, she thought she was texting his phone. It was really my business phone. Because you the boss lady. So I'm the boss no lady, phone. so the phone, was, all the phones were mine. Like, all the bank accounts were mine. Uh, and at the end of the day, all I had to do was order the phone records and said, hey, Pay me some money. Oh, you're a better woman but than me, girl, I, 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 I didn't do that because it wasn't TV One that did it to me. It was an that, employee mm -hmm. that did it. And I just, you know, I just felt like at that time it was God wanted me to know who I was dealing with. And the greatest lesson was you don't need this person in your life anymore. You deserve better. Mm -hmm. You deserve better. Yes. Well, I mean, um, we're going to pray for him because from yes. what I understand, he's really having a time in his life yes, right he, now. Yes, uh, he uh, was hit uh, in Florida by a truck, a racist truck driver, uh, where they damaged, he has brain damage. And uh, he has been, you know, uh, had four brain surgeries and oh, on top no. of that, um, he was he was uh, rendered a vegetable pretty much. Oh, so no. it's been quite a while, but we are, you know, obviously we're praying for his recovery. 
um, he is still a friend, and at, at the end of the day, you don't wish any bad on those people. No, but not at, at all. At the end of the yeah. day, you just you just have to be right with God. You really have to be right with you people. You have to get right. If you ain't right, mm -hmm. you better get right. Yes. Get right, get right. Uh -uh. <laughs> so have you talked to any of the ladies um, from the show since... Um, well, of course, I talked to Kiki. She and That's I... That's our and sister. You, we she were was right, on our, yes. our pilot episode. She, she and uh, I also talked to... Um, What's my baby name from 702? Uh, Mila. Mila. Okay. Talk to Mila. Yeah. I have talked to Selena. I did okay. her show. I have talked to her. Um, not too many other people. Yeah. Uh, Lil Mo, yeah. Kelly Price. Yeah. You know, even though they weren't a part of the Atlanta show, they are right. still sisters, sisters in, in song. song. Absolutely. So I, you know, we have that ongoing relationship. But I kind of tried to stay away from mess. So yeah. I kind of steer clear of the drama yeah. and just trying to be creative in my own right because, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that if you're if you're destined to do something great, if you just wait on your time, you're going to, you know, you go through the pain, the process to get to the promise. You go through the pain and process to get to the promise. Hello, this is okay. from Angie Stone, y'all. Angie Stone on the show. Um, I have, you know, obviously Kiki's my girl. Of course. Um, I actually saw Selena for the first time in many years. Right. I think for the first time since the show. Um, really? I saw Selena. Yeah, we did a BET Her uh, special. Okay. And Selena was there, and we hugged it out. We had a good very old good. hug. We had good. a good old hug. Good. I mean, the, the sisterhood was real, very yes. real before all of the the debacle of that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And what's really crazy is someone sent me a clip, right? And I didn't even listen to the whole clip. I listened to a part. They're like, you need to listen to this. You need to listen to this. And it was a clip of a... Um, uh, what do you call it, podcast show mm -hmm. that Phil Thornton mm. um, had done with some other producers, and I guess Selena was on the show. And when I say this, brother, and this is this year, right? Wow. We, we in 2019, about to go into 2020. Yes. And this dude was going in on me something awful. And just talking about all this trouble that I started and all this mess and he was trying to bring Selena into it, but thank God, you know, she was just like, look, you know, we tear each other down enough. I'm over that, you know, in the moment it was real, but now I'm feeling better. But um, it's something about We Crazy or some podcast they did. And it really just kind of, I listened and then I called my lawyer and I said, hey, listen to this whole thing and let me know if we need to send a cease and desist. Right. But what it really reminded me is that it was never us. It was, it was the same it was poison us. that was it injected was toxic, into us. Exactly. Yes. It was the toxic environment of producers and men like Phil Thornton mm -hmm. who constantly wanted us to sort of make the show hot. By being, I'm like, first of all, if you just wretched. operate in our ev regular everyday life, you're going right. to get some drama right. because right. our lives are full of it. You right. know, um, just dealing with the stuff that we have to deal with every day being singers, you don't have to manufacture and create that stuff. And, and let me just so, say this to you, Nikki, because just being as transparent as we know we have to be, I'm going to encourage you to treat that particular situation with kindness. You know why? Because it takes a lot for a person to be ugly. It takes a whole lot more for a person to just constantly harp on your downfall in their opinion. It, it hurts them more to have to give off that. What I've learned is ignore brings more. So what? He said that stuff. So what? That's the way he may feel. You know what you do? You kill him with kindness and say, in spite of all the things that you have said or done to me, I love you because my God expects me to act as he would. When we come back, we got to talk about what you're doing right now, Absolutely. what the future holds, okay. what you've overcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nikki Gilbert Daniels. This is the Angie Angela. Stone. Angela, Angela Laverne, Laverne Brown, 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 Brown Williams, Williams Stone. Stone. <laughs> Thank you for that one, Angie. Welcome Thank you for that. We'll be right back. This she okay. Black. Eight. I'm learning from my big sister. I'm okay. learning. But you, you know what? We are learning from each other. You yes, have taught me so much. Starting oh. with this show, starting with R&B Divas, moving into the future. Um, one of the things that I, I would love your help on, there was another thing that we were talking about while we were on our show, was talking about charities. Yes. You know, I, I have a foundation now called Good Angel stuff. Stripes. Angel Stripes. And what it is is I took a page out of Candy Stripes many years ago where the volunteers would go into the hospitals. Well, my volunteers go into the nursing homes and uh, the senior citizen homes. And I took a lot of 
folks out to vote, you know, uh, two years in a row. I took them when Barack was running. I took all the senior citizens out for that. I'm trying to create a 50s ball for the senior citizens oh! where there's an orchestra and they get to waltz and they get to do all that stuff. So yes. I'm working on that. I put a board of directors together. I don't know what you're working on, but I would love for you to be one of my board what members. What I'm working on is being your board member, <laughs> yes. being a part of the 50s dance, yes. being and, a part and of just, whatever you need. But listen, bigger than that, you have taught me so much uh, moving into this whole genre of develop, development and production. I'm going to need your expertise on that. I think, uh, you know, we're stronger together than a part. Absolutely. Uh, I admire your hustle, girl. Your Thank hustle you, is man. real. You mm -hmm. still look beautiful. You <laughs> sound incredible. Good, and you've grown up a little. I have so grown it's up time a lot. for us to put yes. uh, a, a tour together. I'm looking for that. I'm managing now. I'm Angie developing Stone, brown stone, sound like a stone cold situation. <laughs> okay. Man. So um, developing content, developing shows. Not only that, we 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 teetered around doing plays. You had a play. Yeah. I mean, there are so many Wait, avenues. You did so kids yes. Play. Yes. We yes. Come on. We done been and around. People don't even know that's so kids capital. Oh, yes. Yes. And I, I was so proud of you. Yeah. And, and now that you. we talk about that, you know, I've been in Atlanta for what about 13 years now. Mm -hmm. I was hoping I'd work with Tyler Perry by now, since he promised me. I'm waiting. Come on, Tyler. Okay. Call us, call us Tyler. <laughs> and um, just watching you learn from that situation and create yeah. your own play and yeah. do your own stuff. It's 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 so like boss lady. Oh, and you, I'm Andrew. proud of you, um, you for so many other things, but just ultimately being an inspiration for all of us and have along loaning us your shoulders to climb on. The very first thing I want you guys to know is when Nikki called me to be a part of this show, she knows that I'm doing the same thing that she's doing. And she says, Angie, if you want to do your show, I have the place for you to do it at. We got to set up, <laughs> we can cut it. Gonna... That yes. is an unselfish move to yeah. me. And I am so grateful that your spirit, you're so comfortable in your skin that you don't mind sharing the stage. Oh my God. Okay? I want, listen, I don't want, there's nothing fun about being the only person at a party with all the resources. There's nothing we yes. can do. We got to really lift each other yes. in real life. Yes. We got to really stand up for each other in real right. life. And right. I love and appreciate you so much Thank you, for sis. standing up with me and for Thank me you. and us Thank standing you. up for each other. And Absolutely. it's just, I hope that, um, you know, I know it was a little tumultuous with the R&B Divas thing, and I hope that 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 all of the ladies can take a page out of what our we're doing book. here, our book, yes. so that we can become more powerful. There's so much more strength in numbers. Well, let me let me just say this to you, based on people taking a page out of our book. What I've learned in my career, 40 years in this game, is anytime you're the first and you do something for the first time, it wouldn't be successful if you didn't make mistakes. Mm. See, there's always there has to be mistakes in the first time or else you don't learn anything. So that was your first run of the mill. That's Second right. time, you're yeah. going to hit the ball out the park. Yes, indeed. I okay. believe that. I receive okay. that. So just believe know that. Believe receiving and God is going <laughs> to perform it today. Okay. Yes. I'm looking at you and you look so completely happy. And I like am, I said, Angie. we have gone through a lot. And I'm not yeah. talking just the record industry. I'm talking emotionally. I'm talking spiritually. I'm just talking, you know, in, 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 in the way of this world and this industry. And to still be standing here having a decent conversation and being able to laugh and still grow and build. Is it's called success. It is. That You're is successful. what that is the true definition yes. of success. And yes. Speaking of success. Ma'am, yes, you look good. Aww. Like Selena Father say, good. <laughs> Thank you. You look amazing. Well, you know, I've come through a lot. I have uh, some health challenges this past year okay. that I, I overcame, and it was rough, but I had to stop living for the world and start living for Angie. Because I'm going to tell you, we give so much of ourselves to the world. And when mm -hmm. I say that, being a celebrity, being in the spotlight, mm -hmm. always feeling like you got to be there for That's the right. fans and doing this and doing that, that I had allowed myself to run down. And at the end of the day, God said, who's taking care of you? Wow. So I had to stop yeah. and I had to cancel some things and I had to just breathe a moment. Yeah. Now I'm in the best shape. I, um, I went to a holistic doctor. I'm vegan. Now I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. You because, cook vegan, vegan Angie. Yes. I, I need don't to get meat. some vegan food. <laughs> Stop playing because I've and been now, trying. And now I'm 100 pounds lighter and I hadn't been that in 15 years. And I started to really do, I was a diabetic. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer diabetic because I just 
started eating right yeah. and started loving me for me. And now I'm in a place where people go, oh my, I think I'm too skinny, but people go, oh, you look great. And I'm like, really? You look and, 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 great. And, and I appreciate that. But I have to tell you, it hasn't been easy. Now right. that I'm on Easy Street, yeah. I can't go but one place, and that's up from here. To the top. <laughs> Angie Stone, listen, you, you lost 100 physical pounds, yes. but I feel like you've also lost a different kind of weight. The oh, weight yeah. of the world that is often oh, on our yes, shoulders. Listen, yes, let me yes. tell you. The weight of the world that is often on our shoulders. And yes. I and I and I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for hearing me, for seeing Absolutely. me, for being my sister in song in real always, life and not just always, for TV. Always. You Look, understand I don't what I'm saying? Any, you know I don't have any sisters and brothers. So I adopt you as my sister I'm here. mainly because you have the same spirit, the yes, same indeed. heart, the same determination. And I I can identify with that. Okay, real quick, what do you have going on? Where can we catch you? Where can they follow you? Where can they find you? All you got to do you? is AngieStoneOnline.com. You can go to AngelStripes.com for my foundation. All my handle is the same, AngieStone.com. The Angie Stone on Instagram. Uh, there's also one called Band 2 2. Okay. I got two on, on Instagram, but um, the real Angie Stone. And you got new music coming. I have a new album called Full Circle. Okay. I have a second, well, the first single was Dinosaur. The second single is Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. And Check where is it, it available? All, all, all over, platforms? iTunes, everywhere. New, and give me the title again. Full Circle full is the circle. title And this the is a full, talk about Full Circle. This is a Full this Circle. This is a Full Circle we've moment. Come, we've come Full Circle. I done said it before and I'll say it again. I love you. I I'm love you I'm so more. excited about what we're about to do. Yes. The ideas that we're about to put into yeah, full effect. Yeah, we got to meet on Thursday, girl. We got to meet on Thursday. Okay. Quit playing. We got to meet on Thursday. <laughs> Shout out to the sister who gave us these little, these this are, these is are, off the rig. I want all three cocktails and it's good, mm -hmm. ain't it? Mm-hmm. Pretty Ricky. You see, I've been taking my time with it. I love it. I know. It's good, right? It's real good. Mm -mm -mm. This, this is all sister. natural fruit juice, fruits in here, no liquor, just so you be clear. Right. We ain't sitting up here hitting on cocktails. Right. What we're doing is, this is healthy stuff. This is good stuff for you. Okay. And this was good for me. I, I thank you. This and I hope therapeutic. we have the opportunity to have this conversation with everybody else, because you know me. Yeah, we, you know what? We might, we, we might need to do a real we reunion. We got to do a recap. We got to so do, do a real reunion. reunion. That should be a project we could work on. Y'all yes. want to see a real r and reunion? A real one? A real we got reunion. You. She and keeps live. Okay. Yes. That's what we need to My do. My sunshine okay. has, has come. come. And I'm what? All and cried. And I'm all cried out. Okay. I love and you, Brandon. Thank y'all. She keeps live, y'all. Yay. Okay, beautiful people. Yay! That just really made me feel great. When I tell you, it just feels good to look back at that conversation and see that, you know, the sisterhood was there, right? Did y'all enjoy that conversation? If y'all enjoyed that conversation, let me know what you are thinking. So um, I, I I love that um, Angie was was kind enough to bless me with her presence on She Speaks Live. I think it's really important for us to have these conversations as Black women. I think it's so important for us to humble ourselves and exercise some humility and really allow ourselves to fully embrace our sisterhood and embrace the shit that we did that wasn't right things that we did that we could have done better. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope that this conversation was rock chick. I see you, sis. She was in my chat. That was the only person in my chat. We was chatting it up on YouTube. I had a couple people watching on Periscope and of course my Facebook fam. I see you. Let me shout out my people. Thank you, Whitney. I'm glad you enjoyed the conversation. Marlena, I'm glad you enjoyed the conversation. Nikki Knight, Oh, look at Sade or Sadie. Let me make sure I say it the right way. Both ways is the right way, I guess. Mike Hammond, um, Latasha Wright. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you to anybody who watched on SheSpeaksLive.com. Um, I'm just really grateful that I have this platform so that I can share um, information with y'all and 
content with you guys. And I think that this this conversation between um, Angie and I um, is, is is an important one to have. So if you have any questions, I can answer some questions now. I'm sorry I can't be on camera, y'all. I'm not going to play myself. So I'm here, though. I just got my pretty picture that Derek Blanks did for me. So Rock Chick wants to know, will she speaks live, make it to television? I want to see this on TV, too. I know, me too, girl. Um, I really do hope that we get to um, television. Uh, please make sure you guys like and subscribe, noego.tv. I'm praying that um, we get to TV. We've been having some really good conversations. You know, it's a sad thing to say um, when 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 you showing love like we showed on that episode that y'all just watched, when you hugging it out, when you're admitting, you know, that you might have made some mistakes in your life, then what ends up happening is it's not as interesting. You feel me? So at the end of the day, um, I'm praying that people see the value in black women coming together to love on each other and respect each other. Um, if you guys keep watching and keep demanding better, um, numbers don't lie, people do. If we say we want better content, you have to tune in to content creators who are trying to give you better content. Like I'm from Detroit, y'all. I could flip a tape. Well, I can't flip a tape. That ain't just ain't in my spirit. But I'm saying I could be ratchet and loud and over the top and mean and hostile if I wanted to just do something to feed my family. But it doesn't feed my spirit to do that. Thank you, Rachik. We do need more positive black women on television. And I'm working my ass off every day to bring those more positive um, narratives. Um, yes, I said your name, Marlena. You mean a lot to me because after all, you and everybody else who watches She Speaks Live and supports this little show that we're trying to turn into a big show, um, you're so important to me. You're so important to not just me, you're, you're important to our community because the more people embrace positive, good content, the more opportunities that we have to create it and get it to the people. And y'all, I say this all the time. A lot of people don't, and I'm not going to talk y'all to death tonight because I know y'all already been on here for four to five minutes. But a lot of people um, don't have an example of who we are as, as women of color um, or just black people, period. The only examples they see are those constant negative images that are constantly replayed in the media over and over again. And I'm just trying to do my little part to show a different perspective. That's all. I'm just trying to show a different perspective. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I love you too, Chris Bowden. Thank you, brother. I hope that you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, I, um, <laughs> thank you, Rock Chick. She said talk away. Um, I hope you enjoyed that because we just need to see more of it, y'all. We need to see more of it. We need to see more unity. And I'm so serious. Um, I would love to see the cast of R&B Divas get together and all all the ladies from the L.A. cast each season, from the Atlanta cast each season. I would love to see us all come together and just show that we can bury the hatchet and, and build or rebuild and restore the sisterhood and reclaim that that um, beautiful sisterhood that we all went into this this franchise believing we were going to continue to build and grow. You know, I really would love to see that. And I, as the creator of this franchise and as a person that considers myself a warrior woman and especially a warrior for sisterhood, I embrace the idea of that and anything I can do. I'll be reaching out to people. People don't really be responding because they, I don't know what's going on. It's the little thing going on that, that toxic environment created a lot of, um, ill will and bad feelings in this group of women. So I hope that God blesses us all and works on our hearts and allows us to really come together and show the world that, you know, we can get along and that we can um, lift each other and support each other. I love each and every one of them. I'll have no beef with nobody. I mean, I got one unresolved issue with, with one person and it ain't Selena and I'm not going to go into who it is and it's not a guessing game. But I'm working on my heart and my spirit for that. Um, and that's just coming from a place of just feeling, um, you know, this feeling betrayal from someone I loved very, very, very dearly. So I'm working on it. I'm praying on it. 
and God is working on my heart. So, you know, we'll get to that place. But I really am grateful. Let's say, um, I love you too. Oh, I've always followed you. I'm only 32, but I've always enjoyed your work and what you're trying to do in our community. I love um, that episode, Martin. Thank you, Martin. I love it, I love it, I love it. Hi, Dallas George. How are you? Hi, Bill Johnson. I hate that you guys missed. Um, if, you, if you're just coming into the, the, the live, we just watched an incredible conversation between Angie Stone and I. Um, something I'm really proud of. I think it's something Angie is really proud of. So take a look at it. Um, Angie and I have been friends for a very long time and this show almost destroyed our friendship. It almost destroyed our sisterhood, but God did not allow it to happen. And I'm so grateful for that. So, um, I hope to have more conversations like these with the other ladies on the show. Like I said, we're going to get back to producing the live shows at AIB TV. Um, and you know, I'm just praying that God works on all of our hearts because I think it would be really, I think it would do a lot of people well to see that sisterhood come together in a positive way. Okay. So, um, once again, uh, my sister, uh, Jazz Waters, rest in peace, um, rest in paradise forever, go on way too soon, only 39 years old. She was a writer for This Is Us. Um, that hit me so hard, but in a really positive way. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this conversation, we're not going to mourn Jazz Fly. We're going to celebrate her because she is a warrior. What's up, Debbie? I see you. What up, Demetrius? I see you. What's up, Dallas George? Um, we're going we gonna to celebrate her because she was a warrior woman. So this is Warrior Woman Wednesday. Uh, please tell somebody, um, please, please, please tell somebody about She Speaks Live and Rewatch this episode if you came in late. It's it's going to be up. It's a powerful episode. So does anybody else have any more questions? If you didn't watch it and you have questions, drop them in the comments and I will absolutely um, answer them for you because I'm just all about us trying to get over this hump. And you hear me talking about ownership of our narratives so much, you guys, because it's so, so, so important. My grandson is actually uh, listed as an executive producer on She Speaks Live, right? He's five years old. He's the youngest executive producer in television. Well, not we ain't on TV yet, but from our lips to God's ears. But I say that to say, be, um, I want to build something that he can be proud of. I want to build something that he can continue to grow when I'm old and gray and can't do the shit no more. Um, I want to build a platform where everyday women can... Um, come to the table and and share their conversations and their thoughts and positive good things. And I'm not saying everything got to be fluffy and cheesy. I'm saying it needs to be real. And what's real going to speak to the heart and what's real is going to change so much about what's happening in the world today. So um, I'm sorry I couldn't show y'all my raggedy ass hair and my ashy crusty lips and these bags under my eyes, but I've had an emotional day. Uh, because like I said, jazz fly, uh, going to heaven real quick was just, um, whew, that was a lot, but I'm going to start doing more of this. There's some really great conversations that we've had. I want to kind of introduce you guys to the, she speaks live brand. So we got a lot of great live um, episodes that are in the can with some great conversations. I got a conversation with Deb Atney that I'm going to um, air probably tomorrow. And I got a conversation with Kiki Wyatt. Ooh, I'm so excited. So we got some good conversations in the can. I got some conversations on mental health that are very important. And um, I want to share them with y'all and I want to watch them live with you. And in addition to that, I got a couple short film and TV things that I'm going to drop in this live because I want you guys to see that too. By the grace of God, now we have uh, social media. We have all of these great platforms, YouTube, uh, Periscope. Shout out to my Periscope people, my YouTube people, my Facebook people. And of course, guys, please, really, if you have not subscribed to noego.tv on YouTube, please subscribe to noego.tv on YouTube. Um, it's important that I know that y'all are there. Please like, please um, tell somebody. We are growing every day and um, finally able to monetize. And I'm a YouTube partner officially. So 
It's growing. I don't have that audience that I'm going to have yet, but I'm going to have it. So I'm sending y'all love. I'm sending y'all light and positive energy. I'm going to continue to give you content because if one person is watching and if one person is impacted by this, that's enough for me. And I'm walking in my purpose because that one person can change the world. Shoot, I was watching somebody back in the day and I did some pretty, I've done and will continue to do some pretty you know, cool things in my life and career. So we just never know who we talking to. We never know how they are receiving what we are saying. And I hope that we can keep giving y'all this kind of content. So I am going to log off now, but please, if you did not watch, please do. And please support She Speaks Live. Follow us at She Speaks Live on Instagram. Follow at noego.tv. And also log on and register. Oh, and I'm going to say this. I know, you know, I hate in this time to ask for this kind of support, but we are fully funded by our nonprofit and my own personal resources, which thanks to COVID, you know, we leaning on the, the support. We're listener and viewer supported. So if you can, if you can't totally understand it, keep watching, keep enjoying. That's why we create it. But if you can, please log on to from the bottom up foundation.org and um, give what you can. And as a matter of fact, y'all, before I go, before I leave, um, well, I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll play it tomorrow. I have a whole little package on from the bottom up foundation and what it is that we do. So good night. I love y'all. Thank you so much, Rock Chick. Um, please support from the bottom of foundation.org. We are 501c3. I will continue regardless. Um, I'd love y'all for watching. All right. Good night, sexy people. And I did this in under an hour. I'm winning tonight. Peace. <laughs>